Today is going to be my last recording session for a while because I'll be visiting my mother as sort of an early birthday celebration slash can't work due to physio. So I have decided to do what was arguably my favorite arcade game growing up as a kid. No, I'm gonna be honest with you. I do not know why. This was my favorite arcade game because during my practice run it was a... Uh, not nearly. As good as I remember. But then again, you also gotta understand that I was playing this in the arcade. And was never able to make it past the uh, second boss. Even after the sort of first initial touchy first level. It kind of goes downhill in regards to it sort of keeping your aim I mean, this level, bear in mind, this is very early 90s. I mean, it's got the fire. Spoiler alert, it's gonna have April on the I was not allowed to watch this show because my current style was too violent. Yes, thanks. Okay, that bullshit call that was thrown up in. Bullshit, I know, welcome to my first episode, okay. I never had one. Excuse me, finishing off my coffee. But for some reason, they will allow me to play this in the arcade. I don't know why. But anyway, this is me soon to be the first boss. And as you can see, there's April O'Neil. I don't know if she is tied up to the desk or something. I don't see any ties, it's always the same to as tied to the desk, but looking at it now, I just think she's too scared to move. And here it comes, I see Frost City, but I can be off. <coughs> Again, I was not allowed to watch this growing up, even my parents bullshit. So yeah, there's that. And this is... For some reason my god hooked me hooked, got me hooked in this game. Also bear in mind my tastes in games were a lot different back then. These were the sort of games that I gravitated, gravitated to nowadays, not so much. No, I still find them fun, just that you know. I won't exactly be paying the price for them, but any price at all. I mean, this... This came with my emulation console, so I didn't pay for the game itself at all. I'm glad I have it, but let's just say, uh... Let's just say that my nostalgia goggles are, uh... Not exactly working this game is uh, not as good as I remember it and again. I am able to beat this game because I don't have the uh, I am playing by arcade rules. 
not only am I playing by our two tools, I have unlimited coins. It's always a joy when you play by RP rules and have your limited coins. Because it means you're either guaranteed to beat the game or you're guaranteed to give up. Not every arcade game can be beaten, a lot of them are high scores, which I'm not, not exactly a fan of. I think that's why I'm uh, I'll never get into Atari. I mean, I have Atari on this console. It's not guess that the graphics are uh, definitely uglier than what I mean for me. I'm a 16-bit baby, even 8-bit. I'm uh, not exactly uh, used to, but it's not guess. Yeah, I like my games to have some sort of beginning, middle, and end. I'm not really into the uh, continuous play for high score sort of games. They uh, don't really get that much entertainment. Body out of them. Maybe it's because I never grew up with them. Maybe they were before my time. I don't know. I'm just saying they uh, never really appealed to me. And to this day, still don't. I mean, there are games in there. This thing you don't really have that really have no appeal to me either like uh, online games. I don't really get to do the whole online thing I mean I have PS Plus, I don't know why. I mean I guess some of the free games are nice, but I don't do the whole Online plans and my sister got me the uh, same structure that she wanted me to do the uh, online player portion for Final Fantasy 15, which is uh, I, I have it. But I never use it, and it's not just because I don't seem Final Fantasy. If Final Fantasy is that good a game, it's okay, but I mean, it's, uh, it's more a Western role-playing game than a Japanese one, let's be honest. I mean, it's not that I hate the game, it's just that I'm concerned if that's where Square Enix is taking Final Fantasy, well... And we always call it a Japanese role-playing game franchise. Yeah. It's not that it's bad, it's that it's concerning. I mean, as far as the uh, whole... The online... portion of the game, I never... Yeah, I, mean, I never did it. I never really wanted to, I mean it was nice that I have it, and I still have the, uh, the earth, but I mean, let's be honest. I can't really use it. See, for maybe the discounts of the free games or what have you. And even a lot of the free games I get, I'm never gonna use, especially now that it's only a PS4. I mean, back when it was a PS3, it was better because some of those PS3 games that I actually did use, like, um, well, Sacred Spring. Which I'm going to my channel right now. That's a good game, I'm glad I have it, because it's a game I never would have purchased if I had to buy it myself. I don't know why, just one of those never really appealed enough for me to purchase, but now that I have it, I think it's a great game. 
But now that it's PS4 only, well... First off, I'm only getting two games, and I mean, the game has the games we had this month, I mean... It was Sonic Mania, and the, uh... Borderlands... Compilation game something. I already had Sonic Mania. So that was kind of a... Big deal, I mean, the Borderlands game... I sold Borderlands, my copy of Borderlands 3, because I just do not really get into it. I'm not entirely sure why, I mean, it's, uh... It's a open... world, first... first and... western light role playing games, I think I'd be really into it. I don't know, I guess... Maybe we're just simply too silly for my liking? Okay, I got it now that I got it for free. I think, it's one of, I think it's one of those games that's just gonna... ...take up space on my hard drive and never get played, you know? And I mean, I'm gonna... Oh, well, I know... I know now that see, I got to PS4 because my... PlayStation 4 was the Lego Data Bank conveniently disappeared when I moved. I think someone stole it. Yeah, I wonder who. But I know now that I actually can hook up a uh, Echo Data Bank to my PS4 Pro since it's gonna look ugly. I don't care. Besides, with the uh, PS5 coming out soon, anyways, it might, and I think the. Uh, it takes PS4 games, so I mean, for all I know, getting the uh, like a better bank for the PS4 might be a bit premature if the PS5 is coming out, and I'll be getting that as so long as it takes the PS4 games. I mean, I'm sure the PS5 will have some sort of mega data bank as well if it doesn't take a three and a half inch hard drive. So might as well use that. The second... But anyways, my... I got the one ter terabyte... hard drive that came installed as a PS1. It's already... almost bland. Most... almost all of my... Online library is down a bit, is downloaded, but I mean the games that I've already played that are big are not downloaded, so I'm gonna have to, if I ever wanna play them again, I'm gonna have to either replace the hard drive or sort of do some delete and swapping a video game, which is why I got to make a data bank to begin with, he didn't want to download. I wanted to pretty much download everything, but I mean... But I mean, I was having a problem with that particular... case for anyways, I don't know if it's a data bank or what, but every so often I'd have to... re download the uh, system software, which means I would lose everything off my hard drive, which means I'd have to download you know, all the games again, plus you lose my saved files if they were not uploaded online, which a lot of them were at the time. So maybe it's a good thing, I don't know. I'm just saying it's a pain in the ass because I don't know who it is. There's either one or two people who took it, and I think it's a person who took it. I have no right to. Well, I mean, neither of them have a right to, but I mean... 
There was one guy there who everybody knew who was gonna take it's stuff, but I don't think it was him because I could have sworn. I saw my PlayStation when we left, which only means the other guy. Anyways, I digress. This is where the game I find really gets kind of boring to me. Look at this. This isn't exactly what I'll be called. Exciting, you know? There's really nothing here that catches the eye. You're on a highway. Or a road, anyways. I'm seeing a highway, but you're really just on a road. No real meter background to sort of. Yeah, every so often there'll be cars that drive by, which you gotta watch out for, but I mean, as far as it just being uh, something that's sort of catchy and pulls your attention, this is definitely not it. Definitely not it. And again, I'm, this is the arcade game, so chances are most people weren't even making it to this portion of the game. They give up and move on, or run out of quarters or whatever. And I mean, as we got, let's be honest, kind of got to understand that whole arcade mentality where. If you've made it this far into the game, you're probably not going to care about the uh, catching up to the level or the background or whatever because you've already wasted that much money just getting to this point. But you're probably just more frustrated that, uh, Really, that you just made it this far on your own, so I'll let your acting mentality of I just want to get to the end. I just want to get to the end, and this is. I cannot say for certain if they ever made in console port of this game. I can't say for a fact that I did not, but I am saying what's the. Uh, just the made it. That's it, because I've never seen this particular MTP Major Turtles game or any home console, including home computer back then. So I don't think this was ever a uh, port. I think this was arcade only. I know they made the other TNT game at SNES Port, and there was uh, Hyperstone Heist for the Genesis, which is uh, not quite up the port of the arcade game, but close. Sort of inspired by it, but I guess a little bit different enough for it to be its own separate game. I never had it. No. Never even rented it. I don't know why. Maybe oh, he's never saw the blockbuster. I don't know. But this, I'm probably certain that. Oh yeah. Now you see, this is one of those parts of the uh, game where I were young. I would have really enjoyed this part. Maybe it's got the skateboard, which is badass. You gotta understand this is 
early 90s but for skateboards was that bit of that rebellious punk like posture to it. Everybody wanted when they were young. I when I was three but I still wanted to because I was young and dumb and didn't know what I wanted to life on the internet. Trying to be cool, I never was. I was the user going on, I was always there to accept it. But it does have its benefits, you know. Once you sort of endure that, people are always going to assume you're a loser and sort of accept it once you know it's going to make some sort of badass. It's true. You don't think I'm badass, huh? Because you're the irony of being, I ain't never been a badass. Anyway, fortunately that was for it because as I said back saying I would have loved that sort of auto be on the skateboard attacking helicopters. I would have loved that part. That portion of the game is okay, but right now I'm gonna be honest with you that's the uh, probably the worst part of the game for me. I still enjoy this game, don't get me wrong. I'm just saying that uh, I don't enjoy it nearly as much now. I you about sending yeah, I keep uh, I keep pumping quarters into the machine for lack of a better term. Even though I definitely have a enough to uh Last me. Call it the uh, arcade quarter mentality. I don't know. Arcade quarter quarter mentality. Kind of a kind of fits, doesn't it? And one of the good things about having this console is all those arcade games that I never could have beaten. Well, most of the arcade games that I never could have beaten back then, there were a few that I... I'm sure you all want to say that. I know there are a few arcade games on this console, which I played as a kid, like, a that keeps that not too much to do, uh, Terminator 2 arcade game. I know they have this on here, but here's the thing. It's a light gun game. Like that, like that game on a controller, don't really have that same appeal, you know? Just saying. Well, I'm just glad that, you know, I can play these arcade games that I grew up with. Never called beat because, you know. Never had enough money, never had enough time. And also, it's just nice to be, uh, the sort of beats a game that you never would have normally been able to see. I, well, Sean says I spent a lot of time at an arcade because I guess never really had the money to but uh I mean you gotta understand that a lot of the movie theaters back then had some sort of arcade with arcades inside of me and I mean I go to movies just for the arcade because I was I never really did like the movies I don't know why Actually, I don't know exactly why. Because the movies that I would want to go to were movies that I never really had any interest in. 
And that's not even really a, a uh, part of the uh, stupid bullshit, really just rules of uh, strict parents and fortunes. It's more just simply because uh, I was a kid and we worked, I was expected to like kid movies. And I knew too. I didn't want to see Disney movies, I wanted to see these in, uh, movies that were not supposed to be made, that were not theater for, not, not even really the fun of movies, that, uh, I didn't even want to watch the, uh, these action movies, even Jurassic Park for some reason, my... Fuck, I would have been at least... I don't know, I think it's still not... Walking, walking Jurassic Park because they seem to give me nightmares knowing that I was a dinosaur buff, like, Come on, give me a break. I don't want to see the movies like that. In the, uh, I have always just hated singing in movies. Even if there's a song in the movie that I like. Usually when it comes to Disney movies, I like most of the villain songs. I just do, but I just speak them in the movie. I do not like singing in movies. I find it insulting if I'm not entirely sure why, uh... It's a bit like using sex. It just sort of caters to the lowest common denominator. I mean, singing... In my reason, I guess. Thank you, my coach. Always hated it. There it is. Always hated some movies, even to this day. I remember. I hate Grease. I hate the Rocky Horror Picture Show. I don't even understand why my parents walk. Not just let us walk Grease, but almost insisted. Oh, we watch it. If you think about it, that's an offensive movie because grown you want to get technical because it's pretty much a movie where the good girl turns into a slut to get to the bad boy. That's not really a wholesome family movie if you think about it. I know it's always a bit confusing. I might turn to the fall and sit to watch that movie because it's, it's a classic or whatever. Same with the Wizard of Oz. Always see the Wizard of Oz, and I, I swear my parents will pretty much try to force me to watch it, but it's a classic. Come on, just. Yeah, you just haven't given this the right chance to see it. No. I hate it. I even. I remember being in high school, and I don't understand what this guy's problem was. I, I, I wasn't really that much of a loser at this point in time in high school anyways as I was when I was young kid holding for my class. But I was still the loner in high school, but for some reason this idiot just... First of all, I don't know why he was so upset because this is just the kind of person who really wouldn't have been quick enough by this movie because that's how much of the uh, sort of wimp he was, but he was getting so upset. So upset because I told him that I just hated the Wizard of Oz and he was, he was debating with me, he wasn't even really arguing with me, he was legitimately offended. That I did not like the Wizard of Oz, like I was insulting his intelligence. And I don't get it, because it's just a movie. But I mean, he's, he's a close call, everyone was, but it's a classic, well, it's a bad classic. I don't care, I don't like the movie. And he goes, yes, insisting you have to like it, it's a classic. And why don't you like it? It's a classic. It's a classic. It's the Wizard of Oz, and this guy just. I swear, he was... If I would have let him... He would have picked a fight. With me over the fact that I used to not like the words about Hans. 
Oh, 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 I'm in the ground. I don't. You cannot fight somebody. Or if you don't fight it over a fucking shit like that. I find I don't seem to be fighting anybody in general, unless you sort of have to. It's self defense, I guess, other than you have to stay alone. Like, you insult my sister while so fucking what? You insult my mother while so fucking what? I'm not gonna kick your ass over it, even if I call them enough to be nice, I'll get people back here to call. I just don't see the point of kicking somebody's ass over something they say, because I mean, they're idiots. People say stupid shit all the time, why is kicking their ass going to do? Give you some sense of satisfaction? No, they're still gonna think their mother's a poor, say your mother's a poor, you're just gonna kick your ass because you've got a point of view. What's the fucking point? But anyways, this guy, this guy was gonna have to try and fight me over the so I just did not like the ones with all. And I just don't. It's a bad movie, I don't like it. I don't care that it's a classic, there are a lot of classic movies that are not entertaining, um... I'm gonna be honest with you, I have never seen this movie, so I think I want to for no other reason than to see how much of a classic it is, but Citizen Kane. Everybody, Citizen Kane is considered a classic movie. It's also considered one of the most boring movies to watch in this day and age. Just because it comes to classic doesn't make it good. Um, 2001 Space Odyssey. That's considered a classic. That is one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my life. Now that I think about it, I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna get a lot of shit over this, but I really don't care. But now that I think about it, I, I honestly don't know which movie is worse. 2001: A Space Odyssey or Avatar. 2001 is definitely more boring, like holy hell. Avatar made me angry. That's how much of a bad movie I was, and it's, I think, what, the highest grossing movie of all time so far? Avatar, well, first off, I knew I was not going to like Avatar because it's in, not even so much an environmental movie, but it saves the, uh, saves the planet or the whatever from the big bad evil corporation, blah blah blah. I've always, I've always hated environmental anything I mean. I was a member of the Ontario Federation of English Officers and Hunters since I was before school. I've been at least six, if not five years old. I know not to pollute, I know not to litter. I don't watch these fucking movies telling me what I already know in a way that's fucking insulting to me. So there's, I think that an avatar is just do you want to know what Avatar honestly reminded me of back in the day? Screen... Screen locks on your computer. Um, screen tables. Avatar to me was a movie about a screen table because it was all very digital and very high tech. That reminded me of nothing but a screen scene and this is the highest rating, highest person movie of all time. Come on. It's bad. I'd rather watch Twilight and I did see Twilight the first one. That was a bad movie too, but that was more a mistake on my sister's part. She wanted to see a movie. There was some 
all of our two movies coming out that was out with Tom Cruise. I think it had. I think it, I think it was more to do with the Royal Air Force and the Link Cross. It was a little of our two movies with Tom Cruise that I wanted to see. She didn't want to go. She was going to go see it with another friend. Didn't want to see the price, and because it's my sister, can't do what I want to do. She wanted to go see Twilight. Voice of Us thought it was a vampire movie. Yeah, I got to understand. This is sort of during the uh, same general time of Underworld, where there was the uh, werewolf vampire wars going on. We thought it was about vampires. There we go, we got the tickets, and I'm looking around, and I'm nervous. Because I am seeing a lot of queens, and a lot of middle or close to middle age heavy women. I am going, why earth is this? the audience in the movie, and I'm putting out my sister like, look at this, look at the people in the audience who's gonna watch this movie, and she's getting there, it's like, what are we getting into, and, oh my god, we go in, we watch this movie, we stay through all of it, I don't know why, I don't want to walk out and meet us before we for the socks that my sister was miss with was me, I walked her. But it not a vampire in it. It was bad. My sister is apologizing and I'm driving on my way home and I'm going through one of what I call these my sister calls the uh, epic rant because I am just ranting and raving about this terrible movie and she's a she, we were more entertained about me bitching about the movie than the actual movie. And you know what? For that reason alone, it was worth seeing the movie. Because there is no way in hell I am seeing that movie again. That movie was terrible, and I mean. It's not even that it was just a bad premise, I mean. I don't, I can admit that even if there's something that I really don't like in regards to the entertainment industry, I'm not going to necessarily call it that, but just that the acting. The ways they mean the uh, vampires, more like some sort of bizarre fairies or whatever. There was nothing good about the movie. The acting was terrible and the pulsing was bad and even the scene which was supposed to be tense and intense and violent and whatever. They weren't. They were laughable. Just absolutely laughable. It was one of the worst poorly done movies I have ever seen in my life. And it was still better than Avatar. Thanks for watching everybody. Take care.